This is Mac. He's a three-year-old mix. Um, generally happy-go-lucky disposition. Um, no problems with people. They had him first and they said, you know, never any problems. And then Rue came into the picture and Rue started just attacking him over 20 times. He's been attacked. You'll see his scars. He's got a big one right there on his shoulder. Um, and he will defend himself. And now he's scared of Rue. Uh, actively avoids him in the house and the yard. Um, but aside from all of that, they said he definitely does not listen. He never has. No. And how old is he? Three. Okay. So he's an adult now. He's right? an adult now. He, so he went from, you know, if we look at it, if we humanize it, he went from infant to toddler to preteen to teen to 20s to probably like in his 20s now. What would he be? 21. No rules. Imagine that. Never listen. All the way to 21 and now. And today's the day. What's, Actually, what's today? What's today? We got it. We got It's June 22nd, 2023. One of the triggers for Rue to attack him is like his owners will be trying to get him to sit for whatever reason. And then Rue comes over and attacks. Interesting. So what did they try um, before? Let's... I know the Ruth thing, we'll, we'll get to that. First, I need to build my own relationship with him and do the training so that I have him under my influence before I do any work with them together. So we're, we're definitely three so, to five days away from that day. So, but today is our relationship. So what, have, what, are they, what do you know about how they uh, go about trying to get him to listen and follow commands and whatnot? Nothing. They didn't give him yet? No. Yeah. Okay. So I had a phone call with them when she signed up for training and I said from from now until training day It's crate and rotate. They okay. are not now to be out together at all Right. And they did that and no incidences sent from the phone call to drop-off day. Right. Nice. Yep. Nice. That's good news. So. All right. It wasn't necessarily crate and rotate she said but like one would be upstairs and the other would be downstairs and vice versa They would never be together Okay Mac. Mac. Hi. It's a big scar on his shoulder. Do you see it? Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, lack of control on a pack has consequences. Yes. And that's, I know that it, I know that he's attacking, so that's like a really dangerous behavior. But it's all because we don't have control over the small things. We can't get it out to sit, we can't get it out to this, yeah. like that. And when it comes to the big stuff, you definitely not gonna be able to get them off from each other or, or yeah. you're not gonna be able to recall them out It's just complete chaos. Yeah, like when I brought blew in this morning and Riggins took two steps off his bed towards us all I had to say was get back on your bed and, and he listens right fine. away and I'm like oh my god I'm so grateful because what if he didn't listen yeah you you, you have I mean they have to that's listen that's why that's why we, we need to have control control because that's a word that probably isn't really it has a sharp edge to it right but that's the truth if we want them in the house it'll save their lives yeah and it'll save our sanity yep and this is Rue's last chance, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, and then also, you know, what's interesting is the owner saying, hey, Max, sit. And Max saying no. She's like, sit. And Max saying no. And then Rue's like, fucking sit. Yeah. Right? Rue's the one taking Rue's control. Rue's doing the punishing. Yeah. But then it gets out of hand because... It's over. It's overreacting because he's not supposed to leave. Right? But he's telling you what the answer is, is punishment for not listening. And, and you know. Yep. It's a muck. It's Pretty muck. interesting stuff. Very interested. In, and honestly, it's the same. It's running rampant through, uh, you know, everywhere. Everywhere you look. If there's a dog, you can almost guarantee that there's lack of control and there's liability at the end of that leash. At one point or another in the day, every day, three, six, five, something's going to happen. Hit by a car. Dog fights, yep. knock an old lady down, yep. sprain your wrist, chase a squirrel, all the liability every day. And we see it because we see dogs come in and they're completely out of control and they transform to good companions who listen. And then we get new dogs in and we're completely out of control. It's, it's rampant. We can't, yep. we can't keep up with the demand. 
Okay, so that being said, we're going to start the training with a recall, which means we can get our dog to us. How, how nice is that? And then if we can get them to us, we can start working on that stay. So we can get a recall on the stay, and that's going to be our foundation. Okay. Hello. How are you today? Alright, I can see the, I can see kind of the uh, insecurity of him. He's pretty big. You said he's a lab mix? They don't know. Definitely some pity, black mouth cur. They were guessing. Maybe Sharpe. Yeah. Maybe okay. some lab. Because he's very friendly to people. Hey, Mac. Mac. Come here, buddy. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? It's very nice to meet you. You seem like a very nice young man. I see it in your eyes though, yeah. I know. That's nice. Hey man. Huh. How are you doing today? You feel good? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Good, I'm glad, I'm happy. Good. It's okay. That's nice. Very good. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That make you feel better? Yeah. Notice yeah. how Josh doesn't correct that right now because he's showing him that Matt can trust him. Yeah. I'm safe. Yep. I'll start to close in on, on the, the, the behavioral box, if you will, telling him what I don't like as the experiences go on. But right now, I definitely like the recall and that I'm a safe spot. Good. 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 Break. Yeah, bud. Hey. Wow. See that intensity about the door? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is Max short for Max Truck? <laughs> I don't know. It's a cute name though, Mac Hi, and Mac. Mo. Hi. Yes, baby. Come here, Mac. <laughs> good. That's good. He's like, where am I? <laughs> Do you see the spots on his tongue? No, I love them. I love it. My, my childhood dog, one of them, was a child and he had the same thing. I bet he's got some chow in there. <clears throat> That's good. You're doing well. Hey, Every time he walks away, he's recalled again. So what you're not seeing is the stem turning on. It's all happening silently. Yes, I need stay. Good boy, Mac. You know they just open they their just doors and the dogs just bust out. No For wonder sure. they're getting into fights. For sure. Oh my gosh. The way he's like. Yeah, and both of them are probably there fighting for who gets out first. It's all and then Rue just goes for it.
Come here, Mac. 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 Come to me. Hello? Mac. What about what we just learned? Good. Nice. Oh my gosh, that was good. That was amazing. So he wants to be in there and Josh is recalling him to him. He doesn't even know he's in there. No. <laughs> but he wants to be in there. No. So we're, we're saying, okay, we've taught you some basic stuff. Now let's present some stuff that you want and still ask you to listen to what you just learned. Exactly. Stay. Good. Good job. Wow, Mac. That was awesome, dude. Come on, what's in here? This is cool. No, not yet. Okay, it's good. It's good. That would be a fight with him and Rue. Uh -huh. That's why I just wanted to see. Yep. Let him know. It's not like that. They said he's never started it, but he will help finish it. Wow. He's being attacked. 